MSI sells all kinds of gaming laptops, from lightweight ones under the GF lineup to powerful devices in the high-end GP and GE series. I have been using the new MSI GP66 Leopard for almost two weeks now, and in this video, I will be sharing all my experiences with this gaming laptop. Here, my review unit has the Core i7-11800H CPU and RTX 3070 GPU with 140W TGP and 8GB of DDR6 VRAM. Um, in terms of memory, it features 16GB DDR4 RAM in dual channel and 512GB of M.2 SSD. Um, this particular configuration goes for some 3 lakh rupees here in Nepal, 1 lakh 80,000 rupees in India or some $1,700 in the US. Okay, starting with the design, as you can see, it's quite a chunky unit. But thankfully, MSI has used a plastic aluminium hybrid material to keep the weight to a minimum. At 2.38 kgs, despite its aggressive look, the GP66 is actually lighter than the Omen 15 that I reviewed recently. Its hinge is fairly sturdy for the most part, but I did notice a considerable flex near the middle of the chassis. Also, while MSI went for a modern looking 16 is to 10 aspect ratio in its 2021 lineup of creator laptops, this one still comes with a traditional 16 is to 9 display. The side bezels don't bother me as much, but this chin is certainly distracting. Oh, and before I forget, this hinge can't lay 180 degrees flat either. Thankfully, it has beveled edges all around, complemented by uh, fairly blunt edges at the bottom of the keyboard deck, which means that I've had zero discomfort while typing on this laptop for hours. Okay, uh, moving on to the ports, MSI certainly could have done better though. Uh, first off, there's no USB-C connection at all, and all the three Type A connections are USB 3.2 Gen 1 protocol. And um, considering the content creation possibility of this machine, I would have liked to see a full-sized SD card reader as well. Nevertheless, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack and a Kensington lock slot over to the left, while the back of the GP66 houses a mini display port 1.4, um, HDMI 2.1, uh, an RJ45, and a power in port. Getting to the display, MSI sells this laptop in three configurations, a 165Hz QHD panel, a 144Hz Full HD panel, or a 240Hz Full HD option, which is the one I have. And let me just tell you, I don't know how I am going to adjust to the MacBook Pro 60Hz refresh rate when I eventually get back to it. Everything is just so smooth on this thing that you feel spoiled in a matter of hours. But if you'd rather have a sharper screen, I doubt the 165Hz refresh rate is going to feel significantly sluggish. As expected, the sharper variant also boasts a better color coverage with 100% DCI-P3 gamut, while MSI promises 72% DCI-P3 and close to 100% sRGB color space on the FHD models. Here, the colors look fairly saturated, whereas thanks to the 291 nits of peak brightness, this laptop does not struggle with maintaining visibility either. Um, however, the GP66 does suffer from a mild dip in saturation levels when looking at it from extreme angles. I also noticed minimal screen bleeding on the bottom edge of the display, but it's absolutely nothing to worry about. Uh, more importantly, MSI has used an anti-glare coating to make sure the ambient light reflections don't get too distracting. And because this is a gaming laptop, it boasts a minimal response time of 3.5 ms only, which is something esports players will certainly appreciate. Moving on, as always, MSI has partnered up with SteelSeries to bring a perky RGB keyboard on the GP66 Leopard. Yet, the backlighting isn't as well implemented as I had hoped for since you can clearly see that the secondary shortcuts engravings are not eliminating. Plus, when setting its lighting to steady white, the keys look noticeably pinkish instead. Anyway, I have nothing to complain about the keyboard feedback. The keys are full-sized, well-spaced out, offer a decent travel distance, and there's minimal flex on the keyboard deck. I also like the soft and silent sound profile upon their presses. The trackpad, on the other hand, could have been better. Feels like MSI should have pushed the keyboard deck a little higher to make space for a larger trackpad, but here we are. Also, while I've faced no trouble with the palm rejection, I wished it was centrally aligned. 
For audio, you get a dual stereo speakers here with the driver units located on the lowermost portion of the sides. Therefore, the audio output does not get as muffled here. But uh, disregarding the overall quality, these stereo speakers still disappoint. Um, the bass reproduction is completely absent, while I find its instrument separation lackluster too. After playing around with the equalizers inside the Nahi Mic app, I did manage to get a slightly better sound quality from these speakers. But um, at the end of the day, it's pretty clear that MSI has installed a mediocre sound setup here. Even its loudness does not get up to the mark. And as expected from a gaming laptop, its webcam is not that great. Subjects look way too grainy and it does not handle exposure or um, dynamic range very well. And as you can hear, the audio pickup from its array microphones is not very good either. Okay, allow me to talk about the performance side of things now. Here, luckily, both RAM and storage are easily upgradable with uh, two SODIMM slots available that can take up to 64 GB of DDR4 RAM alongside two M.2 NVMe slots, one PCIe Gen 3 and one Gen 4. Uh, as for wireless connectivity, there's killer AX Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. There are also six heat pipes in total, drawing heat away from the CPU and GPU to make sure that you have the most comfortable gaming experience. From the outside, as you can see, it has large air intake vents on the bottom while the exhausts are located on the sides and the back of the laptop. Anyway, uh, thanks to such powerful hardware underneath, it is fair to say that the GP66 has simply sailed through my everyday chores. Even when using it on the silent profile that dials down the CPU performance in favor of quiet fan profile, this beast has managed to keep up with all my office workloads. This includes running a bunch of tabs on Chrome, um, attending a couple of Zoom meetings every now and then, typing up documents on LibreOffice, and light photo editing on Adobe Photoshop. Intel processors have always been known for their superior single core performance, and the 11th gen 8 series CPUs seem to have kept up this legacy. Comparing benchmark results with its closest AMD counterpart, the Ryzen 7 5800H, we can see the i7 11800H posting better single core numbers. However, the AMD CPU boasts superior multi core performance in most instances, including Cinebench R23 and synthetic benchmarks like Blender. Okay, the MSI GP66 also keeps up its reputation when it comes to gaming. Playing uh, Cyberpunk 2077 at its highest settings with ray tracing set to ultra, I graphed about 38 to 42 FPS on average here. Um, dialing ray tracing down to medium gets you 46 to 51 FPS instead. Um, likewise, uh, control is playable at its max graphic settings at around uh, 60 FPS on average, while you can expect a stable 90 FPS on GTA 5. Comparatively less taxing games like uh, CSGO fully utilize this 240Hz display since I got somewhere between 257 to 270 FPS on average even at the highest settings. Similarly, Valorant manages roughly about 180 FPS on average at the highest of settings. Apart from the stellar gaming performance, I am thoroughly impressed with its cooling mechanism as well. Granted, this laptop gets quite loud when tweaking its power drive to extreme performance and fan speed to cooler boost. That's uh, more than worth it considering the GP66 comfortable gaming experience. Okay, on to the battery front, the GP66 delivers pretty average results. Uh, fueled by a Modus 65 watt hour cell, I managed to get about 4 to 4.5 hours of screen on time during my regular office chores when using this laptop under the silent profile with brightness set um, at about 50%. Uh, besides, the GP66 Leopard fuels up via a massive 280W power adapter that takes about uh, 2 hours to fill up the battery from 0 to 100%. Overall, the MSI GP66 Leopard pretty much nails all the primary aspects of an incredible 1080p gaming laptop. It quite literally has the most powerful mobile RTX 3070 GPU with 140W graphics power, while the 11th gen Intel 8 series CPU still slaps in terms of its gaming results. Moreover, I am quite amazed by the thermal solution on this thing as well, since even prolonged gaming sessions are not thermally uncomfortable here. Um, having said that, there's a definite bit of compromise on the tier 2 features like um, audio, trackpad, and webcam quality of this laptop, but these uh, are the things that you can live by if gaming is your primary focus. 
So guys, this was our full review of the MSI GP66 Leopard laptop. Uh, do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and a subscription to the channel would be great as well. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I will see you in my next video.